Hey, it's Saturday. I decided to come at you from a different angle. See, that's my balcony out there. I was, I've been on meetings and, uh, um, when the, how many meetings did I have today? Two. And then I have extra work I have to do. I spoke too soon yesterday. I thought it would be over for a week or so. I guess not. And then uh, I was working on something. Now I'm not the most tech savvy person in the world. And I can connect things to a certain point. But I have an extra screen I should use and I can't seem to connect it. So I have to wait for my son to come down. I look at it. It's just that, you know how you're looking at stuff and you get overwhelmed and you're like, I have to back away and think about this. I was starting to panic and I was like, no, back away. I took a walk. So I'm back and I figured, let me uh, record this and um, go back to doing some work and I'm going to live stream the Nutcracker later. I paid for the program, so I'm gonna live stream it. And unfortunately, what I can't finish today, I'm gonna to have to finish tomorrow because they want everything finished by Monday. That's the trouble with working from home. It's staring you in the face all the time. It's not like you can leave the building and not come back to it. So, like I said, I will look at it later. So, of course, I didn't even introduce myself. I'm sorry. I'm Trisha, the Knitting Lady. And uh, if you like these videos, please thumbs up and subscribe. So, today's trivia for today. Which sport is coming to the 2024 Olympics? And the choice is breakdancing, cricket, or cornhole. I didn't look what cornhole is. The answer is breakdancing. You believe it? Anyway, it will be, it's under urban events and it will be called breaking. So if you look for it, don't look for break dancing, look for breaking. And it's put there to lure young people to the event. I haven't seen break dancing in a while. And personally, I'm not crazy about the music, but hey, can't like everything. Birth dates. Alyssa Milano, which I thought, well, is she not noteworthy? She was born in 1960. Cicely Tyson is 96. Excellent actress. Jennifer Beals, you remember her from Flashdance? She's 57. And today's was the birthday of Edith Piev. She was born 1915 and died in 63. Always liked her singing. In fact, I remember going to a Engelbert Humperdinck concert. I don't know if any of you remember him. But uh, La, La Vila Rose is one of my favorite songs. Well, he started to sing it and he did such a horrible job that I walked out. I was like, don't touch that song. There's certain songs that I really object to being sung the wrong way. I know. I don't like when somebody tries to sing the Star Spangled Banner and, and messes it up. That's like me singing the Star Spangled Banner. I know enough, I can't sing it. So if you can't sing it, don't even attempt. I'm such a brat, aren't I? <laughs> Telling people what to do. Don't sing that. You can't sing it right. Anyway. What major league baseball owner, oh no, what 
Major League Baseball team did the owner of Wrigley's Chewing Gum own? And the choices are Detroit Lions, Chicago Cubs, New York Mets, Cleveland Indians. Well, if you know anything about Chicago, this is easy. He owned the Chicago Cubs and they play at Wrigley Field. And I like that field because it's in the middle of the city. I like baseball fields that are in the middle of the city. <laughs> I, know, I know why. I know in Denver, it's in the middle of the city. Um, Washington, D.C., where Washington Senators play is in the middle, too, of the city. Easy, it makes it easier to get to. But that's me. So the story is, when William Wrigley Jr. moved to Chicago, he began selling soap and baking soda. And he began offering his customers a free pack of chewing gum with every purchase. So it turned out the gum was more popular than the other products. So he would become, his company would become the largest producer and distributor of chewing gum in the world. In 1921, he became majority owner of the Chicago Cubs and he renamed his stadium five years later. I've been to um, Wrigley Stadium. It's an old stadium and I really like it. It didn't have lights for years, so they only played day games. Um, I like old stadiums too. I know they tore down Yankee Stadium and I miss that. They have a new stadium which nobody can afford to go to, it seems. <laughs> It's a shame. Anyway, I was looking up, how do you make gum? Because this man sold soap and baking soda. And I thought to myself, does that have anything to do with gum? Anyway, once I read this, I don't know if you're ever going to chew gum again. Originally, gum was made from latex sap of the sapodilla tree. It's native to Central America. And this sap was called chicle, C-H-I-C-L-E. Remember chiclets? I know if you remember that gum, the little gums, chiclets. Sometimes paraffin wax or beeswax may be used as a base. It contains sweeteners, flavorings, and softeners. But now, this is where, after I read this, I was like, I'm not chewing gum again. Now the base is made from polymers. Now you know that's in paint. Plastic sizers, plastic, and resins. So, no more chewing the gum for me, that's for sure. Um, I used to be addicted to chewing gum. When I was married many moons ago, um, I made a deal with my husband at the time. If I stopped chewing gum, he would stop smoking. I did stop chewing gum. And I don't know if he ever stopped smoking because we got divorced. But um, I think my son said he was smoking for a while, but he doesn't smoke now. He always had um, breathing problems. I don't know why he was smoking to begin with. But then again, I was chewing gum all the time. And I don't touch it now. Um, I have too many problems with my teeth. So, and I remember when I started getting all these crowns. <laughs> I deserve a crown, right? <laughs> um, the dentist said to me, no chewing gum. I said, you don't have to worry about that. Spent thousands of dollars on my teeth to, to, to ruin it, no. So what happened this day in history? Because the first thing I saw was, was something political and I said, I am steering away from that. Anyway, while the Battle of the Bulge was going on in Belgium, I touched on that the other day, how it started and it went on for a good month. Japanese forces 
landed on Hong Kong and clashed with British troops. And also the British troops were busy in Burma. They advanced 40 miles into Burma in a drive to oust the Japanese from the colony. So that was interesting. You know, they, they were like us. They were like the United States. They were busy on two continents. It's a terrible war. So where is Burma? That's what I wanted to know. My geography is not the best. It's located in the western portion of mainland Southeast Asia and is bordered by a lot of different countries. It was a British colony and was granted independence in 1948. So that's interesting. Um, and I have a joke for you. I was looking for a TV, and on the TV it said built-in antenna. And I was like, where is the antenna? I know, stupid. <laughs> I have to start writing more jokes or looking for more jokes. That's supposed to be what I'm doing. So I started to um, make up a list, too, when I'm supposed to be working. I'm making up lists. For this. I'm so good, aren't I? About um, favorite this, favorite that. I said, I think I'll make up a list and, and send it out. Maybe this week sometime. As if any of you have time to do that, because I'm sure you're getting ready for the holidays. I still have uh, quite a lot to do. Well, not a lot, but cleaning up. Um, I have tax stuff all over the place. It's so, so boring. I was in that meeting today and I'm thinking to myself, this stuff is so boring. I know it, it pays decent, but it is boring. I just can't get excited over it and I never did. I never had a job I was crazy about, unfortunately. But, um... I chose jobs that paid better, and finance always paid better. But am I crazy about it? No. So, all right. With that, I'm going to leave you guys alone. I hope you got a kick out of this. We learned all about chewing gum. And have a good night, and hopefully I'll see you manana. Bye now.